Hi guys, today I would like to share an awesome book that I have loved since I was little called Dougal the Garbage Dump Bear. Hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Dougal was a shy little bear with a heart of gold. He never got to play with the other toys in the house because they were all new and clean and perfect. And he was not. He often wished he could be new, like them. Especially the day when the little girl who owned all of the toys had a tea party. It was a lovely party. They had patty cakes and ginger nut biscuits. And the little triangular peanut sandwiches and strawberry milk. The guy with a gollywong sang a song. Pinky Pink told some jokes and Mr. and Mrs. Bunny brought along their new baby girl to show everyone that no one spoke to Dougal. He sat quietly on his own and ate his cake. Just as the party was finishing, it began to rain and the little girl had to hurry and put all the toys inside before they got wet. So she, she took the best toys in first, and by the time it got to Dougal's turn, it was raining so hard, and it was already so wet, she decided not to bother. So Dougal stayed out in the rain on his own all night. The next morning, the little girl's father found Dougal still sitting at the table. He was soaking wet. This bear's no good anymore, said her father. So he put Dougal in the bin. Dougal did not like the bin. It was very smelly. He hoped the little girl would come and save him. But she never did. How would you feel? Early the next morning, Dougal heard the sound of a truck and stopped right next to the bin. Suddenly, Dougal and the bin were picked up and he was tipped with all the other rubbish into the truck. Then it drove away. Every time it stopped, more rubbish would pour on top of Dougal. Then the truck would drive for a long time. When it stopped again, the back end opened up, and Dougal was pushed out onto the ground with all the rubbish. Dougal blinked his eyes in the sunshine and wondered where he was. All of a sudden, there was a loud roar. The ground shook and a great big tractor with steel wheels rumbled past. It just missed Dougal's head. And then a scary looking machine with steel tracks, a huge mouth came straight for him. It was so loud, so big and so loud and bellowed so much smoke that Dougal thought it was a dragon. The dragon was so close now that Dougal was frightened. He was going to get squashed. But as it was about to flatten him, the dragon stopped. Do you think it's a dragon? The man hopped out of the cab and picked Dougal up. He sat the little bear on the ground out of harm's way and then went back to work. Dougal sat there for the rest of the day and watched the dragon and the big tractor and the trucks do their work. At the end of the day, the man put Dougal in the cab of the big tractor. See you tomorrow, said the man. Dougal didn't want to be left alone again, but he was warm and quiet in the tractor. After a while, he felt safe. The next day, the man found a bench for Dougal and he sat him on it so he wouldn't be run over. One morning, about two weeks later, Dougal was sitting on a bench when he heard a funny voice say, To be or not to be. He turned around and saw a bee sitting on a log. Hello, said Dougal. Hello, said the bee. What is this place? Mars? It's a garbage dump, said Dougal. The bee looked around. That bee just right. Just my luck. 
I'm Dougal, said Dougal. I'm Bumble, said the bee. Please to meet you, Dougal. Shame is not a better spot. It's, an, it's not bad once you get used to it, said Dougal. They sat together and watched the machines at work. Not long afterwards, the man came over and had lunch with them. They had veggie sandwiches and lamingtons and an apple each and iced coffee. You're right, Dougal, said Bumble. It's not such a bad place here, is it? Bumble and Dougal became good friends. They had heaps of fun together. Some days they would go down to the pond at the front gate and watch the ducks. Some days they would watch ducks. Some days it was very hot. Blooming heat, Bumble would say. And they would ride in the cab of the dragon because it was air conditioned. Some days it, it would rain and Dougal and Bumble's job to check the rain gauge. Blooming rain, Bumble would say. And some days, mostly on Fridays, they would go out with the men after work and play pool and got home very late. And always, the next day, they would both feel very sick from drinking too many ginger beers. I have to sleep it off in the air-conditioned dragon. Never again, Bumble would say. I need a nice coffee, Dougal would say. One morning, when Dougal and Bumble were down at the pond watching the ducks, they heard a terrible crash. What was that? asked Dougal. I have no idea what it could be, said Bumble. They both went back up to the top of the dump to see what had made that noise. When they got there, they couldn't believe their eyes. Blimey, said Bumble. The dragon had tipped over on its side. It wasn't making any no noise or smoke. Poor old dragon, said Dougal. Don't worry, we'll look after you. They stayed with the dragon while the men went to get a crane to lift it up. When the crane came, Bumble and Dougal watched the men put the chains around the dragon. Be careful, said Bumble. Don't break the air conditioner. After the crane had lifted it up, the men took the dragon down to the workshop to fix it. The dragon was sick for a couple of days, but when it came back, it was as good as new. It was so grateful to Dougal and Bumble for helping that it pushed the garbage more carefully so any other toys who came to the dump could be saved and they saved heaps. They saved seven little bears, 11 middle-sized bears, two dogs, two elephants, one big bear and his little brother, two toucans, two lemurs, a white tiger, and a Scottish moose, five rabbits, a blue fox and a red mouse, a clown and his girlfriend, a koala named Eric, a doll named Honey, and a gorilla named Gus. Look at all those toys. And the shade thing with one eye. Beth didn't know what it was, but they let it stay anyway. However, Five toys could not all live on one bench, so the man let them stay down near the pond. As long as we all behave ourselves, Bumble told all the to other toys. And don't scare the ducks, said Dougal. All the toys loved their new home, but one day the big boss came down from the city. He saw all the bears and rabbits and dogs and elephants and the rest and said, This is a dump, not a zoo. They have to go. All the toys are worried. What's going to happen to us, said Dougal? They, they asked, Bloomin' Big Boss, Buzz Bumble, why can't he just let us be? 
When Saturday came, the men piled all the toys into a truck. Dougal didn't want to leave. He'd miss all the ducks at the pond and the dragon and the ice coffees. Then they drove away. The man with the truck took the toys back to his house. It was a really lovely little house right on the beach. They couldn't believe their luck. There was a toy car, toy motorbike and buckets and spay for the beach. They had a swing and a climbing castle as well. There was also a trampoline. And when Big Bear Bounce sent all the other toys flying and they thought it was great fun. And then they found out the shaggy thing with one eye was a really good surfer. Every Monday and Friday, the man would take Dougal and Bumble back to the dump for a visit. Bumble would ride in the dragon and the man would give Dougal some bread so he could feed the ducks. And while he sat there on his own, Dougal would think how lucky he was. He would remember how he was left out in the rain and put in a bin and realise sometimes bad things happen so good things can happen. So you just have to make the best of it. Look at Dougal feeding the ducks. I reckon they will like it a lot. And that's the end. I hope you've enjoyed this book and the video. Please give it a like and subscribe. See ya!